What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another uh, YouTube video. I'm again John Hammond, and I want to show off uh, the Grab Quest challenge in the last of CTF. I was still going on that uh, that hype of like creating a get flag script for every challenge and everything you actually complete in a CTF. So in my Grab Quest folder and all the folders that I have for the the challenges, I've always been creating this get flag script that will at least try to show the flag in an automated fashion of every challenge you complete. With Grab Quest, it's a little bit different because for one thing, we're connecting to an SSH. We're connecting to a, a remote shell and running commands on their server. We can still do this and automate it, and that's what I wanted to show off to you in the way that I got that to work. Because for one thing, we're going to have to pass in a username and password to the SSH shell like to be able to connect, and then we're still going to have to run our commands as if we were SSH'd in. So the way that I do this is, of course, I use SSH, and I would log in to the area over there. Uh, I think it's shell.lassacTF. Com. And it is, yeah. So we'd be able to enter our passwords, and we'd be able to enter all of our commands and stuff. But it's interesting, because they always give us this banner. So, with SSH, we can remove that if for whatever reason we want to, when I, which I do in my script, with dash Q, I guess, for dash quiet. And then we still have to enter our password. Um, but, how can we run these commands after we've entered our passwords? Well... We can pass them in as arguments, like I can change directory into here. I can pass that in, and then I can run a ampersand or like a, a, a colon to run a represent I'm running another command in here. And I'll use the same tactic I did to find the flag. So now after we enter our password, we should get our flag for us. Awesome. Now we just have to be able to pass in our password and run it. So I would use SSH pass, which is a tool for Ubuntu, and you can pass in dash P as the argument, and then your password would be the argument you pass in. And then you would just continue your syntax otherwise, just like this. This doesn't work for me because that's the incorrect password, and I'm not actually going to show you my password, but that's how you would be able to do it. That's how I do it in my get flag script. I just pass in my password right here, and this same syntax will remove the banner with dash Q, Run all the commands as if I'm connected to it. Actually, I should be able to do that. Yeah, but again, I have the wrong password. I have the correct password in my get flag script. So when I run my get flag script, I get the flag. I'm also actually just doing a little bit of cut stuff. I cut with the delimiter of the uh, yeah the the, the the colon there, and I use F2 to cut out what I had earlier with the where is it? Yeah, I cut out the potato.txt crap stuff, just so I get only the flag. But that's pretty much it. I will just pass in my password, use a dash Q to remove the banner, and then run the command after it. Easy stuff. All that is, is just that one-liner in my get flag script, but it makes for one simple command to run and immediately get a flag. So, Again, I feel like it's a good practice to, to create those things in uh, whenever you're inside of a CTF or competing in cool challenges like this. So thanks for watching guys. Simple stuff on how I did it in SSH. And if you don't have SSH pass installed, you should be able to just run sudo apt install SSH pass and install it in Ubuntu. So yeah. Again I already have it installed, but thanks again. I'll see you in a later video.